So you did some edits to a video which you have already uploaded to YouTube and didn't like the results. So you obviously decide to revert it back to original, redo the edits for example, and you vividly remember in YouTube editor there was a button to revert the video back to original. However, now you cannot find it. The only option in the three dots menu is keyboard shortcuts, which presents you a cheat card with all available keyboard hotkeys. And the reason why you don't see this button is because YouTube removed it. Yes, and YouTube being YouTube, the official reason for this is the feature was abused. So again, some bad actors exist on YouTube. Actually, every YouTuber is a bad actor. And just because a relatively small proportion of YouTube creators allegedly abused this feature, they disabled it for everyone. Apparently, that's why we can't have any nice things in life. They could have some thresholds, and they actually used to have them. For example, back in the day when the feature was first introduced, you could only edit videos which had less than 100,000 views. So they could have introduced something, any criteria to have this feature enabled for decent YouTube creators, like the amount of subscribers the uh, channel has, or the amount of watch time, or whatever, but they didn't. They just removed the feature altogether. YouTube is definitely not the only service which gets worse with each new update. However, they are one of the few who actually removes features, not introduce new features, remove the already existing ones. So they started with likes and dislikes counter, and now they are removing some even technical features. And the only way for you to have the original video is to re-upload it in case you have it downloaded or you still have the project in your video editor. So if you haven't downloaded the original video before editing it, there is no way to get it back. And of course, if you re-upload it, it will receive a new URL and you will lose all the likes and views and everything. You can still do edits and you can still stack them. For example, if your tongue slipped and you need to remove a certain portion of the video, you can do it, wait for it to be processed, and then you suddenly realize there is something you want to blur, for example, a car plate number or somebody's face, you can go back to the editor and add the blur function. But as soon as the edited video is processed, you cannot revert it back to original. And by the way, if none of those features, like trim or blur, is available to you, so they are grayed out, the reason for this is your video has auto-dubbing. And if you want to edit the video, first, you need to remove all the additional audio tracks for the video by just deleting them. When you delete all of them, blur, trim, and everything else will be available again, and you can use them. However, you will lose auto-dubbing, at least up until very recently. However, I just tried editing a few of my fresh videos. I needed to cut out some mistakes from those. And after the processing finished, the auto-dub voiceovers have actually regenerated so they reappeared on the newly edited video. However, only for the most recent uploads, the one I made in the past two weeks or so. Those from before that, even though they did have the auto dub, it wasn't regenerated after I made the edits. So this is YouTube for you. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, jingle bells.